What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and Weekly Crucible rewards from this week on all three of my characters. Before we get into the video, Happy New Year to everyone. It's finally 2016 and we have a lot to look forward to in this new year so I'm super excited for everything that's in store for Destiny in this coming year. Going into the video, this week's Nightfall was the Cerberus Vase Strike with Valis to Arc. Pretty fun Nightfall because there was the Solar Burn modifier active, so you could utilize weapons like Sleeper Simulant or Dragon's Breath or any of your favorite solo weapons, so it was pretty fun. So without further ado, let's get into my rewards for the week. Starting off on my Nightfall rewards for my first character on my Hunter, we ended up getting ourselves... A bunch of strange coins, we got 19 strange coins, and my two teammates got legendaries. One of my teammates ended up getting a Sparrow Toolkit, which was pretty interesting. I didn't even know that was part of the loot pool, but that was pretty cool, so he gets a new Sparrow out of that one. And then moving on to my next character on my Titan. For the Nightfall, we ended up getting ourselves a legendary Ghost Shell this time, pretty unlucky. And my two teammates got some legendaries as well, so we saw some boots and an auto rifle so pretty unlucky for all three of us on that one and then finally for my last nightfall of the week and of 2015 on my warlock we ended up getting another legendary this time we got a bond or a class item and my two teammates got another legendary helmet and an exotic this time we saw the no backup plans at 310 so at least one of us got an exotic on that one to round it off for the year and then heading into my weekly crucible bounties on my first character for my warlock, we ended up getting 17 more strange coins. Pretty good drop. I actually like getting strange coins just because it's useful for Xur and anything he may sell. So it's pretty good. I'd rather get strange coins than a useless legendary item. So pretty good. And then for my next crucible reward on my titan, we ended up getting a party crasher plus one shotgun at 300 attack. It didn't have the greatest perks though, it had Battle Runner and Replenish and not even Rifled Barrel or anything down the middle. It did have Small Bore which was okay but it wasn't the greatest. I still have a better Party Crasher. And then finishing it off with my last Crucible reward of the week, we ended up getting an exotic finally and we got the Knucklehead Radar exotic helmet for the Hunter. Not my favorite helmet by any means because it kind of has a useless special perk since uh, you can just get third eye on many weapons and that's pretty much the special perk for a knucklehead radar but it was still pretty good to get an exotic at least so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos thank you guys so much for a great 2015 and i'm really excited for 2016 and everything it has to offer us for destiny and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace